my gosh, it's Mrs. Knight, your favorite first grade teacher in the world. I love you guys. I miss you so much. You have no clue how much I miss you. I might even cry making this video because I miss you so much. Um, I wish I was at school with you guys all today and I was able to just give you a big hug and pinch your armpits and just tease you and hang out with you. Um, I've been praying for you guys. I love you guys. I cannot wait to see you again. Um, I hope you guys have had a really good St. Patrick's Day so far. Um, if you set a trap for a leprechaun, I need you to take a picture of it and send it to me and let me know what happened because I have been thinking about that all day long. I, I just bet that there's a couple of you who probably did. If you wore green today, take a picture and send it to me. I want to see it. Or if you just want to say hi, take a picture and send it to me. I want to see you. Send a video to me. I miss you guys so much. Um, so I'm going to try to make this a really quick video for you guys just to kind of tell you guys a couple things um, and let you know what the plan is for maybe the rest of this week and just kind of talk about what's going to happen. So first things first, I don't know how much your guys' parents have talked to you about why you're home or what is going on in the world. Um, but basically we talked a little bit about last week when we did our lesson again on germs about how there is this brand new germ or virus in the world and they named it COVID-19 and it's brand new, brand new, never made people sick before. And sometimes new things can just be scary. They can just be new, I guess. Um, so a lot of doctors in the world right now are trying to figure out what is the best way that they can handle this new germ so that not a lot of people get sick and so that we can just be as safe as possible so that they can study it and learn about it and get a lot of information about it. Um, and they decided the best thing to do is to, to stop having schools with a bunch of kids kind of all around each other and to, to just be better about staying at home and washing our hands and, um, and just kind of being alone. For a little while so um, that can be kind of scary I don't know how you guys felt when they, they said that the schools were gonna be um, at home for a little while but the first thing that I thought was wow I don't really like that and I'm that makes me a little nervous um, so if you've been feeling that way too I just want to tell you guys what has helped me a lot um, I was feeling worried and I just remembered, you know what I can do? I can just pray. I can remember who God is and how he loves me and he's been protecting me. I can say those Bible verses that we've been learning. Um, I can go learn new Bible verses. I can pray and I can read my Bible. And those are things that I can do and that I have done that have made me feel a lot better. So um, if you guys have more questions about this virus and about everything, go and ask your mom and your dad and tell them you kind of want to know what's going on. Um, and if you know a little bit and it's kind of made you worried, I just want you to know that everything is going to be fine. I might not get to see you guys for a while. We might have to do <laughs> online school for a little while, which is going to be a little crazy, but we're going to make it work and God loves you and everything is going to be fine. And the day that I do finally get to see you again, I am going to smooch you all on top of your head and I'm going to pinch your armpits and I'm going to flip you upside down because I just have missed you guys so, so much. Um, so that's the first thing that I wanted to talk about. The second thing that I wanted to talk about with you is that because of all of this craziness with this new germ, we don't know when we're going to have school again at Trinity. It could be, um, next Monday and it could be a while. It could be kind of a long while actually. So, um, I'm going to just keep, keep you guys updated. I'll let your mom and your dad know when we figure out when that's going to be. Um, but that might mean that school is going to look pretty differently in the next couple weeks. It might mean that you guys are doing home at, or school at home with mom and dad on your kitchen counter. Um, and it's going to be different and it's going to be hard and it's going to be weird and it's going to be tricky, but you guys can do hard things. I do not want to hear any of you say, I can't do this because you can, it's going to be awesome. So if we have to do school out of school for a little while, it's all going to be okay and we're going to make it work and we're going to figure it out as we go and you guys are going to get to show your parents how smart you are and how hard you work at school, which is just so cool. So that was the second thing. Um, the third thing that I wanted to tell you guys is just that um, I miss you and what I really want you guys to do is if you can take pictures 
Um, write me letters, email them to me, tell your mom and your dad you want to learn how to email them to me. If you want to send me a video, please send me a video. Um, I just really miss you guys and I, I want to be able to see you and I know I'm not going to get to see you for a little bit. So send something to me, maybe draw me a picture and, and take a picture of it and email it to me. Um, but I, I want to, I want to talk to you guys a little bit too. So, um, I think that's all that I, that I had to say. I love you. I am gonna, um, tomorrow record me reading a picture book and I'm going to post it on YouTube and then you guys can listen to me read a picture book. So, um, I'll probably, excuse me, I'll probably talk to you guys again pretty soon here. I love you. I miss you. I can't wait to see you. Have a great St. Patrick's Day and be good for your mom and your dad. All right. Bye.